Hi guys. So I'm so sorry if I might sound dull or look a little bit dull. I've been on medications for the past couple of days, so I might not uh, be at my best today. But nevertheless, so this person said, great video. Can you please make a tutorial on how to take camera views for an interior using um, SketchUp? So without further ado, let's jump right into it. But before we do that, please do the needful, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video, and also comment on this channel what you would like to see on our next video. You might be lucky, I might pick your comment next. So let's proceed. Welcome back. So the first thing we need to do is to open our SketchUp as usual so i use um sketchup 2023 so i'm just going to open it right now once your sketchup is open you just click on this architecture raw millimeters to open the template okay once your template is open now you can see this is the sketchup interface so you can now import uh the file you want to work on so you click on this you click on import okay so i have my file on the desktop so let's say i want to import this building i click on import and i wait for it to load to import the building okay so once this loads you click on close and the file automatically uh, has been imported it will appear in a short while okay so this is the file all right so you can just rotate it let's rotate it the way we want so for us to create camera angles or to set our camera angles or create views using sketchup we can do that in so many ways and i'm going to show you how okay so the first way we can do that is once you just finish rotating this view let's say you rotate and you are like okay i like this view i want to take a camera angle from this view now you can see that this is uh not this is more like a three point perspective because you can see it has one vanishing point here it has another one at this point and it looks like it has another one on the top as well so we just need to change this make this two points uh -huh, to make it a little bit straight then we adjust our camera a little bit adjust our view so once we are satisfied with the view we want let's say we want this view the first way to do that is to just click on camera and you click on position camera but this is not very very accurate if you don't know much about um, sketchup this could be the way you would use to do it and you would find out that you might not get what you want actually so but let's just try it anyway you click on position camera then you see this three this small um 3d this human being icon so you can just place it around here and it moves it in so you see how what, what it does it, it likes puts your eye close to the building where you placed the icon and if you zoom out a little bit now it looks kind of weird you understand so this is not really i, I don't really really fancy this but this is just one way which is I, I don't recommend this way to anybody then the next way you can use to create uh place your camera which is the perfect way and which is also the way i like to use is let's say i come back to uh, my view let's say i rotate let's say i get to the angle i want change this from perspective to two points and i place this very well okay let's rotate this okay two points perspective all right so let's say i like this angle and i'm okay with this view and i want to save this view all you need to do is to click on view you come under this animation and you click on add scene so once you click on add scene it automatically adds this view as um, scene one so you can see it's up here scene one and also you can see it around this area you just need to click on this to hide this then you can see it's under the scenes as uh, area here you can see scene one okay so even if you move away from this view let's say you go to the back or the top or the side and you click on double click on this view here this scene here it takes you back to scene one it takes you back to scene one or if you move away from this view and you just need to click on this scene one right here once it takes you back to scene one so whichever way you like to um work whichever way it seems uh easier for you you just do that then let's say you want to take another scene let's say you go to the back and you're like okay you like this back view 
and you change this to two point perspective and you want to take a view you want to take a view like this okay now instead of going through the whole process of clicking on view animation add scene which is uh, a whole lot of work you can just as you are in this view you can just click on this plus icon right here and it will automatically change this scene to scene 2 okay so you can double click here to get your scene 1 double click here to get your scene 2 or you just single click here to get your scene 1 single click here to get your scene 2 and you can do this for as multiple numbers of scenes as you like you can go scene 3 scene 4 scene 5 scene 6 to whatever number of scene that uh, you like so this is it and all you need to do and there are also a few uh, adjustments you could make to a scene you can customize your scene to suit your purpose so let's say for this scene one you can change the name now you can see if you go on that to this place you can see the scene you can change the name let's say angle front angle maybe you just want to give it that name so whenever you see front angle you know that you are talking about this scene so you can just type front angle front angle okay now once you change this to, to front angle you can see that here it has changed to front angle and also at the top here you can see it has also changed to front angle now you can also work on uh, the shadows tags styles components whatever now you click on this shadow depending on what you want you are the architect you are the designer you know what you would like to get so you can just work on it use sun for shading and you see the results you are going to get you can turn it off to see the results so you can see what you get you can turn it on you make it darker you make it lighter you just tweak it a little bit to suit your your purpose so this is all you need to know uh apart from the shadows you can also do some styles uh you can change some materials to the model this time around if you would like and also create more scenes camera locations and whatnot okay so for the interior view how to pick interior camera view all we need to do is to cut a section first of all around the building we need to cut a section so you see this icon right here this is the section icon so we're going to click on this icon the section icon they are going to cut a section from the top now you can see make sure it's on the top you can see this is from the front this is from the top this is from this side so make sure you cut it from the top once you've placed it you click on ok now you can see the arrow is showing upwards so you are cutting it from you are cutting it and you are viewing upwards but which is not what we want we want to view downwards so if you see if we move this down you can see how you can see how we are how we are viewing sorry let's place this here okay now you can see how we are viewing it we are viewing it uh, upwards instead of downwards we want to be seeing what is down what is happening inside so we're going to click on this and we're going to rotate this so we'll come to this surface we'll click on this okay then we rotate the cut pattern rotate it okay then now you can see the arrow is facing downwards now so we click on move and we move this exactly this way so we cut it uh, downwards so once we are done cutting our section we can now rotate to see what we have inside so this is what we have inside now you can see how how good looking this is oh uh, now you see we made a mistake but it doesn't really matter you can see that it's not perfectly uh, horizontal you see it cut it it cuts it at an angle you understand so next time when we are doing this we need to do it more uh, accurately so but nevertheless we are already seeing what we want to see so the next thing to do is to click on camera now we click on position camera and we make sure we position this camera at this point inside here good so we position the camera there then we can click on this same camera again and we click on look around to look around inside the view okay so first of all what we need to do is to save this scene so that once we mistakenly leave this scene we can quickly come back to this particular um scene so we click on save we click on this plus icon right here to create this particular view to save this view as a scene so we can now pan then we once we start panning sorry once we click on pan 
then we can move around very well we can move around properly okay and now you see we've left the the view now if we zoom in we can't go back inside again unless we come through the top you understand so this is why this is important now we can just double click on this and we are back to our scene okay okay so we're going to click on pan to continue panning all right okay so once we think we have gotten uh what we want let's say look around okay 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 i think this is okay so let's say this is the view we want for our interior space this is the view we like then we can update this scene and click on update scene updates and it automatically uh, changes this scene so once you double click on it it's this particular scene you are going to get so even if you go out and you double click on this you'll come back to this particular scene now if you look up if you pan above let's go up let's just pan if you pan above this you see that you are still seeing the sky so you see that it's not uh it's not okay it's not very very okay we don't want this so this is where uh this comes in once you are done setting your scene for the interior then you can click on this section line and delete it this section line that you drew you can click on this section line and delete it you don't need the section line again then double click on this to go inside the interior view and you see everything is perfect you have your ceiling you have your wall you have your doors you have everything so this is very very good so you can actually use this to create both exterior and interior um, camera pick exterior and interior camera angles camera views using um, sketchup so if you find this video helpful or interesting do well to hit give us a follow subscribe to our channel share this video like and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you get notified when next we publish a new video see you guys on the next one. Bye.